I live this every single day. I don't wish this on any parent or any family member. For more than four years, Shanna Turner has been taking it day by day. He was 25 years old. Her son, Shaq. That was his family picture. Killed while on his way from work in Virginia Beach to pick up his fiance in Norfolk. He tracked them down on the interstate and he created an accident. Shaq has no other choice but to get out in flight. And then he gets out and shooting and shooting. And he got shot nine times and the bullet to the head is what killed my baby. The way he died, it was very tragic for all of us. And it was very important to me to keep his light shining. Since then, she has stepped up, helping other families impacted by gun violence in Hampton Roads. The people that I've came across, they felt more comfortable talking to me because we took that walk together. We're doing all that we can do legally to make sure that we hold those responsible, accountable. Meanwhile, police in Chesapeake are also acting on tackling gun violence and improving investigations. When you have a shooting, the clock is ticking. And the longer it takes for us to solve the case, the more difficult it can become. Chief Kelvin Wright, along with State Delegate Cliff Hayes, are spearheading an effort to get a NIBIN machine. NIBIN standing for the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network. And there's a lot of shell casings that remain at the scene. And uh, these shell casings are evidence. These shell casings give us clues as to who might be involved in the crime or if that gun uh, has been used in previous crimes. So we're looking at being able to take that information and get that usable intel very quickly to help us uh, resolve some of these matters. ATF officials say the way Nibin technology works is it compares images of ballistic evidence submitted from shooting scenes plus firearms recovered from that scene and produces a list of possible similar results. Trained technicians then review these results, identifying Nibin leads or potential links or associations from the same firearm. We had an incident that occurred a year ago. A young man was shot. Uh, there was evidence left at the scene, some casings. And later that day, we had a, another young man that was shot in another part of the city, uh, same caliber. Had we had our own machine, we'd have found that out in less than 48 hours. We're gonna have the tools to be able to link these situations together. Hayes has put in a budget amendment in this current session for $250,000 to help the city get the technology and share it with Portsmouth and Suffolk. Crime has uh, no boundaries, rather than us to just try to solve what's going on in our city alone. It'll all put us on a level uh, space, if you will, with dealing with crimes. A level space Turner hopes will help investigators and families get answers quickly. I say to people that are perpetrators, when you're out here, you're actually ruining families' lives, your family's life, because you, sh you should feel important to your family too. In Chesapeake, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.